Weep and may endure for night, but joy comes in the morning. Weep and may endure for night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. In spite of not guilty, in spite of injustice, in spite of racism, in spite of all the evil that's in the world, joy still comes in the morning. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad today that in spite of how I feel and in spite of the things that are going on around me, we know that God is still in control and He's just and faithful and full of mercy. Psalms 37 says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered as a green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and brother thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And you can go on and read. But the word of God is still true. You know, a lot of times when things happen, and I've been reflecting over the day, a lot of times as things happen, we don't always understand. You know, Jesus walked with the disciples, and they did not always understand. They crucified the Lord. They killed him, buried him. And it looked like the devil had won. It looked like people, the evil people, had gotten what they deserved, what they had wanted to come to pass. But we know that on the third day, Jesus rose. So in spite of what it looks like, in spite of the, the thread of evil that plagues America, we know that God is still on the throne. Amen? Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And the morning may not be 12.01 a.m. The morning may not be 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. But there's a morning that's coming. Amen? And joy is going to ring out. Amen. So, to the whole entire United States of America, and to every human being, let your peace rest in knowing that we serve a God. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He's not in time like we are in time. And although sometimes we don't understand, I don't always understand. But I know God has a perfect plan and a perfect design. And he never does anything by accident. He never makes a mistake. Amen. So we're going to rest in that. And I rest in the word of God. He is faithful and he is just. And he knows nothing is caught him by surprise. Do we hate? No. We can't hate. Will the enemy love for hatred to creep into the body of Christ because of injustice? Yes, he would love it, but we can't. Jesus said, forgive as I have forgiven you. And we will show forth the fruit of love and the fruit of forgiveness as we go on. Amen. And continue to serve God and continue to love one another. Amen. Amen. So once again, my heart goes out to... Uh, Trayvon Martin and his family. My heart also goes out to George Zimmerman and his family. Amen. Because one thing we know for sure, God is just and he sees it all. Everything is going to be weighed fairly. Amen. We might not always see justice in the earth because man runs a lot of this stuff. Amen. But God, he's fair and just. And I promise you, I promise you, we will all, we will all stand before him one day. And we're going to give an account for what we've done with Jesus. Amen. That's what we're going to give an account for. How we treated Jesus and how we treated him does reflect on how we treat one another. Amen. Amen. So, you don't know him today as your Lord and Savior? Repent. Today's a good day to do it. 
Repent while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Don't let anger consume you. Don't let it. Jesus was mistreated. They killed Mary's baby. Mary know about the weeping too. They killed her baby. Yes, they did. God knows about the weeping. They killed his only son. Unfairly. But don't let a seed of hatred creep into your heart. I promise you. God is faithful. We don't understand. And it's all right to cry. And it's even all right to be angry. But sin not. And trust God. Amen. Amen. So I love you guys. And remember to continue to praise and serve God on today. And lift up the hearts of men. That they will change their ways and turn to God. Amen. Alright. Love you guys. Bye bye.